Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do dodging and burning using a 50% gray layer technique. So I'm uploading a couple of videos on the channel about different ways you can do dodging and burning. Uh, this is an easy way to do it. It's not my favorite way, but it's pretty simple to get your head around. So let's jump straight to it. So I've got this Ayla Secure bust here from Gentle Giant, which I'm gonna to use to do this treatment. Uh, it doesn't really need much dodging and burning, but I figured I'd just use it uh, as a demo to bring up some of these areas to show you uh, what this technique can do. So way you go about doing this is you simply need to add a new layer. So I'm gonna call this Dodge, and then I'm gonna fill this with 50% gray. So I'm gonna press Shift F5, and you can see I've already got 50% gray selected there, and immediately, uh, there you go. 50% gray. Then in the blend mode, you wanna change this to either overlay or soft light. I'm gonna use overlay, there's really not much difference between them. Uh, and then what I'm gonna do is duplicate that layer and just rename it burn. So I'm gonna do my burning on one layer and my dodging on the other. So I usually start with the burn. I don't really do much with burning usually uh, with a lot of my images. I don't find there's really much that needs darkening. Uh, so all you need to do now we've got 50% gray is just paint on the burn layer with black and on the dodge layer with white. And that will bring up the different areas depending on which one you're picking. So I'm gonna use black and white here. So I'm gonna start with my burn. So I've got my brush on black here. So I can increase or decrease my brush size using the uh, left and right br bracket keys on my keyboard. So I'm gonna start with something like that to do this quite broadly. And then I've got a Wacom Intuos tablet here that I'm doing this with. I can just go over the sort of broad areas with that. And you can see it's quite a strong effect immediately. If you don't like that and it's too much, you can just use the opacity to back the layer off and that'll bring the effect down. With burning, as I say, I don't really do much. So you can see I've just done a couple of little areas there where it's darker. Uh, normally what I do is do the kind of big sweeping areas first and then make my brush a bit smaller and do some of the detailed areas. So, you know, I might work some of these uh, sort of smaller shadows in just to accentuate them a little bit more. Maybe touch around there. I'm just doing this very, very roughly around the clavicle, just to get some of that shadow detailing coming in. And then I can move on to the dodge layer. So then I just need to switch to white and I can do exactly the same thing. So I start bringing up the highlights and then all I'm doing is just painting white on that 50% gray layer and it brings it up. Now, obviously I've jumped to the dodge layer and I'm kind of working on the detailed areas first. So let's bring the brush size up and work on some of the uh, bigger areas, just to bring those up. Around the neck there, the arm. And that's all there is to it really. So if I toggle the dodge on and off, you can see what that's done, and the burn on and off, and you can see what that's done. So the dodge, Probably bring that down a bit, overdone it a little bit. And there you go. Very simple way of doing dodging and burning. As I say, this isn't my favorite way of doing this. I prefer to use curves adjustment layers. So I've got another tutorial video I've uploaded on how you can do uh, dodging and burning with curves adjustment layers. That gives you just a little bit more control as well. So go check that out. I uh, hope this is helpful. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for plenty more tutorials on Photoshop and toy photography and head over to toyshooter.com to grab our free toy photography guide. Thanks for watching.